Hello and welcome to that import from Word uh, video. Now why would you want to import a Word document into Papyrus? Well, I can think of a couple of reasons. Firstly, you may have started your work in progress in Word and you're now migrating to Papyrus. So you want to import all of the book that you've already created so you can continue working on it within Papyrus. The second reason would be Let's say you've created your book within Papyrus, but then have exported it to Word so you can send it off, say, to an editor. And now they've returned that document to you and you need to re-import it back into Papyrus so you can continue editing it. So um, let's take a look how that's done. Right, so the easiest way to import into Papyrus is simply by dragging any Word document onto the icon and it will instantly open and convert that file. So what I have here is a, uh, a Word document um, which is over 2 meg with over 200,000 words in it. Now Papyrus isn't open. I want to show you this to show you how fast it is. So I'm going to drag it to the icon. It's open Papyrus and bang. That's how quick it converted that file, that 200,000 word file, into a PAP file. If I open the Navigator, all the headings that were within that Word document are correctly moved across. If I then press Save, it'll ask me if you want to turn on backups. This is up to you. I'm just going to say no for the moment. And it will now have saved a copy of this document back to the same directory which is in this case is um, the desktop so it's saved the copy of this word document to a pap file it was that fast to convert 200,000 words now what I also want to demonstrate is if um, I spoke about exporting a word uh, one of your pap files uh, to a word document so you could send it to an editor um, so if your editor then sent you back that um, Word file, um, you can simply drag and drop. It will do exactly the same thing again. I'll open it. So it converted it back again. But not only that, because when you exported it, you exported it with everything intact, it brought everything back in the same way it was exported, whether it was comments, scenes, um, everything. So you can see how fast that was to import um, an exported file back into Papyrus. Okay, so those were the easy ways of importing, but what if you want to import a document you've exported and sent to say an editor, but you want to re-import it into your project so that that document can access, for instance, the character database? Well, here's how you do it. So to do that from within the project, I'm going to go to this icon, which is open a folder. I'm going to go to the directory where I saved the imported file, uh, the exported file from. So this file, I'm imagining this has came come back from my editor. So temporal drift back from editor. I'm going to double click it. And again, it's opened um, my file but this time inside my project. And you can see it associates back with um, my character database. Because I've opened it within my uh, project, it automatically links back into my character database. It automatically links back into my research database. So if I wanted to then open this every time I open my project, I would just go to um, documents, indices and directories and associated documents and I would just make sure that it was ticked. So if, if I tick temp temporal drift back from editor I'll move it up a bit. So if I move it up to the top, close every time I open my project now these two files will open the original temporal drift and the temporal drift back from the editor. If I close that down now, save changes, the next time I open it, 
Okay, so if you want to open that file with your project rather than standalone, just open it from within the project. The original file that you exported from was created. And there you go. Okay, so that was the import from Word video. Again, everything is quick and easy with Papyrus. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll catch you next time.